What is best in life? Uh, today we join Sultan Alandin II, Alandin the Cruel, as a Zoroastrian uh, Sultan now trying to restore the Zoroastrian faith to the uh, Sunni Abbasid Empire and the empire, the part of the empire that is the empire of Persia specifically. So that's a large area, all this area here. All we have so far done is take over most and even then not all. This is the Moose Jaws uh, kingdom here, although there, if you've noticed, there are some de jure areas still outside of it to the north and to the west. And I am in the process of conquering the holy site of Zoroastrianism in Kurdistan, where the Yazidi heresy uh, still takes place and where Yazidis uh, just actually fled when ISIS uh, cruelly took control of some of the southern areas of Kurdistan and Yazidi women were actually sold as slaves uh, in ISIS slave auctions. There's some uh, interesting novels you can read uh, online and offline about that. And if I do gain control of the uh, Persian Empire, I'm going to declare myself Seoshant, which is one of the three saviors of the uh, empire. And then if I have time, I'm going to try to take Rajasthan, which is where uh, Zoroastrians actually fled or many of them fled after the uh, Abbasid Empire and there are only 200,000 Zoroastrians left in the I'll just get the uh, game started here and get the war started there are only 200,000 Zoroastrians left in the world even though it is one of the most ancient if not the most ancient monotheistic religions and uh, one of the reasons for that is that they do not accept converts as a matter of fact in one branch of Zoroastrianism, if you convert someone to Zoroastrianism, that is actually an excommunicable offense. So you are ejected from the religion for daring to have converted someone to it. And many Zoroastrians also do not accept mixed marriages. So you have to, both parents have to be married into, uh, into Zoroastrianism or you cannot uh, claim to be a, a practicing Zoroastrian yourself. Now, I just got a message about going into hiding. A message, invite to plot from Shapur Shapurid. We would like you to back our plot to fabricate a claim on the Emiratic Khorasan. Of the Manichaean faith triumphant, the adherents of the Zoroastrian faith have steadily dwindled to the point where Manichaean believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced the Zoroastrian faith to a de facto heresy. All former Zoroastrian holy orders are now Manichaean. Zervan, save us. And will I plot to fabricate a claim against, oh, against this Eber Nurbahim the wise, this court physician who keeps trying to kill me. Uh, very well, I will uh, take part in that plot. Now, yes, I am actually in the right duchy. If you see the faint outline, this is the uh, these are the lands of the Emir that I'm fighting, uh, Emir Ali of Mosul. Uh, let's see here are his lands, the Sheikhdom of Al Zak, which is this area here. I thought it was actually uh, this Sheikhdom to the south, which is part of the de jure duchy that Kabulistan is part of, but I was wrong. So therefore I wondered why I was at peace. And now am I again sieging down this fortress rather slowly and I should take up the war score. If I check the war score, I am getting uh, plus 16.66%. I believe that's per month because I control Kurdistan and I'm at 72%. So hopefully in about two more months, I'll uh, be able to conquer. I'm trying to seduce this woman, Yeldum, who is far away. And I'm trying to seduce her because she is both quick and attractive and unmarried. So her kids would be uh, useful. There is no rush, but what I am going to do is I'm going to use my duck dark power and attempt to abduct her and bring her to my court. And once she is in my court, I can make her a concubine because she's quick and attractive. She's worth getting into our bloodline if I can. I have put out the word amongst my brethren in Lucifer's own when an opportunity presents itself, the brothers and sisters in Begal will attempt to snatch Yeldon and bring her to me. 
in chains, which is excellent. And so this war is going. And uh, there is another war up here. I have, this has been looted, this emirate. It should be de jure part of my sultanate. And the sultan, this, it says it's an ikta, which is sort of a, uh, a Muslim feudal governorship. And the reigning sultan can only gather about a thousand troops at the moment. Uh, so I think I will try to attack him. My liege, my work in Sharzur seems to have come to fruition. I have managed to fabricate a claim on the Sheikdom of Sharazur, presently held by Sheik Farazad. And Sharazur is the other part of this de jure duchy of uh, Kurdistan. So even though it's going to cost me 350 gold, which is quite a bit, I'm definitely going to conquer Sharazur. So I now have two good options of the next place to conquer. Now, the next place after that is I want to go into this duchy or this large duchy down here or emirate, I guess, and take the Silk Road trading post first, which is Estefan. So I will get my chancellor to try to fabricate a claim in Estefan. And I will speed up the game, get some going. And I'm having a hard time pursuing Yeldon because she's so far away. But hopefully if I can uh, snatch her, that will be for the best. Now, who is the, ra the ruler of Estefan that I can attack? It's Nerizm the Fat, who I personally hate, although he can gather 4,000 troops. He's got, oh, he does have large holdings. The Nezer Ed Emirate and the Emirate of Khorasan and the Emirate of Herat. So he holds three emirates. That's why he's so powerful. Uh, some carefully placed words where they can easily be overheard by notorious gossips can be more effective than a love letter, or so I thought, but my quarry yelled him has not responded in any way. I need another tactic. My seduction is just not that great when they're uh, that far away. And I am slowly sieging down this. Oh, it's only 6% every 12 days. So this is going to take a while. Well, I have my other affairs in order. Actually, I don't have any. There are a couple of things I need to attend to. I could go into hiding because I know someone's trying to kill me. My leisure's council is discontent. Oh, I don't have a court position. That is a problem. I don't know why my Oriental, my Chinese doctor uh, is not available. But let me check. Disaster, a fellow member of Lucifer's own has been caught and they branded him apostate. They used hot irons to brand him, but they spared his life. I will lay low because I have the paranoid trait. Uh, I will continue to try to pursue Yeltsin. Now, do I have enough grace to request a Chinese doctor? I have 310 grace. So yes, I do. I will request a Chinese physician. That'll cost me 250 grace. And, oh, uh, someone with a learning of 27 has appeared. Send my most sincere gratitude to the Emperor. The heavenly Lai Yansu, Emperor Hu Zedong of the Tang Empire, has generously decided to send you a skilled physician of his court. Bu uh, Yuan will serve you well. Bu Yuan. So, she is, how old is she? She's 35, so I should get her married quickly. But I will appoint her, uh, can I award honorary title? I will make a court tutor, I will do that. Uh, and I will also, yes, she's automatically appointed as court physician, that's great. So Yeldon plans to travel the realm incognito for a lark, and Lucifer's own will try to snatch her, approve the scheme. Excuse me for that, I just coughed. I think I shut the mic off, but I may not have uh, shut it off in time. If I did cough, my uh, sincerest apologies. And I'm still trying to seduce Yelsum as well as uh, Kidnapper, which is kind of a double uh, treat. My incompetent in Lucifer's own failed to capture Yeldum, and she gains a negative 64 opinion of me. So somehow she knew I was trying to accomplish her. Now my physician, is there anyone I can marry her to? 
I can marry her to my nine-year-old. She, he's the only one in court that is available to marry. I really want to get her married. Um, so I will marry her to... Is there someone who's brawny and lustful? Uh, yes, I'll continue. He's greedy, not lustful. Has great pox. No, I won't marry her off to her. He's dull. I won't marry her to her. The sheep of Kaibar. Yes, I will marry those two. I did not understand fear before, but once you have felt your legs shake and teeth chatter with fear, then it is hard to remain brave. I lose the trait brave. That's unfortunate. But Lucifer's own does strip away your positive qualities and substitute with good ones. A new bird has arrived in the muse and a new book of art writing of the art of writing poetry is in the library. I will take the bird out for a hunt. Hopefully I'll gain the falconry trait. And how is my siege going? I besieged one holding, still painfully slow. I accept your suggestion that Boo Johan and Sheik Rahula get married. I would like some of those uh, good genes in my court to marry off perhaps the second generation. And I will check to see if any of my... The new bird was more aggressive than the ones I'm used to. It killed many rabbits, but was unwilling to relinquish its catch. It even attacked me when I tried to pry one away. Uh, she is far too dangerous. Again, depressed. Poetry is safer. Let's try that. So, do I gain diplomacy plus one? And I'm still having trouble with uh, you, Morris. Now, I'm just going to check my house to see if anyone is unmarried in my dynasty. And married? No. Oh, okay. A number of people are still married. So... Good to show. Oh, she has a lot of positive traits, including a good... Actually, she, with that positive Muslim trait, can she make any matrilineal marriages? No. Um, uh, so, I can just marry her to my son. Is she my cousin? I will lay low to try to stay away from being caught as one of Lucifer's own. News from China, the people of Sabrid probably never knew why the illustrious emperor chose to attack the Kagan. Regardless, they have suffered a crushing defeat and Han armies are journeying home to celebrate as their victory is being declared. The Protectorate is getting actually quite close up north. So I will marry her for an... Uh, actually, I will marry her to my son. Um, okay, I'll go backwards. Princess of Moose Jaws. I will control her to my son. And then she's 42 and strong. So if I can get an alliance out of her marriage, she can no longer produce heirs. And I can't get an alliance, so she's going to have to remain unmarried right now. Uh, Lucifer's own have informed me Yeldon plans to travel the realm incognito. So Lucifer's own will make another attempt to capture her. And now uh, I've got a victory. Yes, and now I have 100% war score. And Lucifer's own again failed to capture this woman. So I will win this war, offer peace, enforce my demands, and I've uh, usurped the title of Wali and the title of Baram of Badi from Count Misra of Ibril and the Sheikdom of Kurdistan. So I've got all the titles. And this being a holy site, of Zoroastrianism, I will carefully choose who gets this title. I wish I had an extra male uh, member of my family to give it to, but I don't really. So I will find characters. Yes. Uh, religion, my dynasty, any dynasty, uh, married, any gender. It has to be a man to hold the. Uh, so 32, the Wali of Karar. Can I appoint him? No, I can't. My modest attempts to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting or singing my prayers. Fame and fortune await, so I gain the trait poet. It's so rare as a member of Lucifer's own to uh, gain a positive trait. So the steward of Kusk, can I? 
So I guess he needs to be in diplomatic range, yes. And join court, yes. So there are these three, and they all have terrible learning to appoint one of them to... Uh, I really want one of these guys to appoint them. There's no point trying to capture Yeldum anymore, considering she's dead. Well, that's disappointing. So... Uh, I guess I'll invite these two guys to court. They're not that great. Young Goldabor is developing a stubborn streak. I should teach her to be more proud instead. Stubborn, willful, she could never be like me. I will try to teach her to become proud. Uh, so search the realm. He's going to join my court. So men, any uh, diplo range, join court. Um, These guys are just terrible. Why can I not find someone suitable to search around my culture, my vassals, men, any, any, any? Uh, I guess join court is any. There we go. That's why. So, Commander of Minia, Grantland, and Tidal. And he's a Zoro. No, jeez, I almost gave it to a Sunai. That was been a terrible mistake. Another member of Lucifer's Own is caught. I will lay low. I can. I keep thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them. All right, I'll torture someone. And I'll get my troops back to my own lands and then disband them. And I need to make an appointment to the Varam. Um, so I need a Zoroastrian, though not a heretic. There we go, my career heir to the Sheikdom of Verjan, but he's an heir. He's ambitious, though. They're all, they've all turned heretics. They're all Manicheans now. Here we go, Piraz. He's got terrible learning, but I will grant him the Varam of Badai. There we go. And now let's look and see. Badadi, this holy site is held is not held by a member of this Zoroastrian faith, but he is my vassal, Varam of Badadi. He's a Zoroastrian. Oh no, he's a Manichean. I'll revoke his title to the Ram of Badadi, just the Manichean. I can't revoke the title between the before 1832 because I just granted it. And this is Paraz. He just turned Manichean. Oh, the Manichean symbol. Oh, the Zoroastrians. Oh, oh no, because the Zoroastrians are now a heresy. They're in red and the Manicheans are in gold. That's awful. I made a terrible mistake and I can't fix it till 1832. And I can't give away the Sultanate yet either, or I'll simply, um, the Walia. Can I give him the Walia as well? My cousin. My son, Sheikh Tabaristan. I'll grant him a landed title, the Walia. Uh, the day we have long awaited is finally upon us. The time has come for the child of Araman to enter this world and lead us to a new era of power and glory. The choice of the lucky mother falls upon you, honorable priest. Glory to the deceiver. So accept, accept submission to have a spawn of Araman. To complete this mission, right-click on a female follower of Araman of child-bearing age in your court and select unholy impregnation. I'm going to try to do that on... Uh, the Great House, the My Dynasty, uh, men, women. So the Queen Mother is, can she still? She's 43 and strong. Can she still have a child? Uh, recruit for Satan. 
she's 23 and my sister I'll try to oh I guess I can't recruit more than one can I take her as a concubine? yes I can but I want to ex expand my family meeting with Jamala I made sure only to cautiously question the absolute power of her almighty Ahura Mazda regretfully it seems that my words only irritated my aunt from the steely look she gave me I should probably steer clear of here her for now, which is disappointing. So I will try Bahar. All right, now here I will dis I will disband military. Disband my military. Now I can raise uh, about 1,900 levies. It's coming up. Uh, it will come up over time. Now I can raise almost 2,000. How many can this gentleman raise? The Sultan can only raise 700, so can I try to... Uh, which Kar Karakum and Usert, which are the better? This looks like a wasteland, Usert tribe. Karakum, Usert, is it under Icta? No, it's tribal. So Karakum is Icta, so I will try to siege Karakum. Dejure claim on Karakum. There we go. Now I will raise my armies. happening here because they raised their troops and got them into Gurgan before I could get my army there. So I don't want my heir or any of the uh, Jaws family in battle as they're having a difficulty, difficult enough time staying alive as it is. I'll speed up the uh, fight a little bit, although I could keep it slow and try to actually keep accomplishing some dynastic things in the background. If I can just get this army unified. And I need to impregnate uh, someone. I'm going to try to make it one of my family members. Can I recruit her for Satan? Yes, I will try to recruit her for Satan. Spymaster? I can't let the Spymaster post. I don't want to appoint the Sultana. I don't want to... There we go, the Mobad, and I'll give him a gift. And I'll get him a steamy. Meeting with Bahar, I made sure only to cautiously question the absolute power of her almighty Ahura Mazda. Regretfully, it seems that my words only irritated my sister from the steely look she gave me. I should probably steer clear of her for now, which is disappointing. So I couldn't recruit her to Lucifer's own. And hopefully they're not destroying my trading post. I could arrest Shah the Algiv. Oh no, I didn't mean to try to arrest him. I just wanted to check him out. Oh, now I have a rebellion on my hands and it's Shah El, or Sheik Elg, who I wanted to keep on my side anyway. I may have to hire some mercenaries for this battle. Truces are expiring, Sultan of the Eucalypt Sultanate. However, at the rest of Azerbaijan has been seized by the Byzantines, so I really have no more claim on Eucalypt to the north anyway. Uh, my cousin? Alright, very good. Now, can I 
seduce her for Satan. And I really need to be finding someone else to uh, be seducing for Satan and become my concubines. She's an intricate web weaver. Matrilinear, arranged matrilinear marriage. Tarogen Boraz of Boraz is Hungary and Mayor and Princess Gazmi of the Jaws Sheepdom marry matrilineally. Sure, let's get a matrilineal marriage going. Peace be with you. I've decided to grant you the Emirate of Tabriz in recognition of your service and your nobility of spirit. He's granted me the Emirate of Tabriz. Where is that exactly? I have the ambition to acquire title. Now, where is the Emirate of Tabriz? Tajuri Duchy. Kurdistan, Jabal, Mosul. Khorasan, Herat. Khorasan, Tabaristan, oh, Tabriz. Oh, that's a title I already hold all the constituent parts of. He just granted me the um, actual title. He created the title for me, which I didn't want anyway, because it'll just... So I need to pick an ambition, become a counselor, groom an heir, which can increase my fertility. Yeah, I don't want to be your counselor. You'll just kill me. One week claims can be pressed. The Sheikdom of Galan against jaw this other Jaws. <laughs> so I've slain. Hopefully this Baga's host won't drop by and attack me. That could be uh, bad. Oh, and this total battle against the Sheik of Galan was totally a mistake. I never meant to try to arrest him. This is an own goal on my part. Now, I have... What titles do I have? Sheik to Kurdistan, Sheik to Tabriz. So I have to get rid of one title, but I need to hold on to Kurdistan so I can remove um, the accidentally the Manichaean I, I put in charge of the temple. So a 36% moral authority. So it's Badi. The holy site of Badi is held by a member of the Zoroastrian faith, but is a vassal of another religion. He's my vassal, so what's my religion? How did I become a Manichaean heretic? I never meant to be. Oh, oh well, at least it's partial. Hopefully my children aren't Manichaean heretics. My heir. He's joined the Manichaean... He joined the Manichaean heresy as well. Ah, uh, can I somehow intrigue? Falsely confess faith. Can I join the faith of my invited disciple of Harmony Man? 
over 150 dark power. A son was born to Prince Alg, and and he's of the Manichaean heresy too. My whole family have become Manichaean heretics. I'll lay low to try to keep away. Now I will appoint a guardian with military training. one guy of any military skill whatsoever. And will a betrothal? I need betrothals. Oh, they got another one from Lucifer's own. I'll lay low. Here's a 44-year-old with strength. Uh, here's an attractive one-year-old. Will Mary uh, betroth him? And Dehistan. Decided to accept the suggestion of a betrothal between the Landon and our Cole. That's good. So, Emir Abdul of Dihistan. So there we go. Uh, my war score is 42% for Dihistan. And I still have 1,600 troops here. That's more than I have. I'm going to have to hire some mercenaries, it looks like. But I'll put that off till I have to do it. And now, is there any women... I can't stop thinking about the prisoners. Sure, I'll go to a one. I'm a disciple of Iron Man. Why not? Now, I'll search all uh, my religion group. <laughs> Lethal Nightmares. My beloved daughter, Garz Garnze, is dead. She was found lifeless in her bed, her face frozen in a terrible grimace with a trickle of blood running down her cheek. The physicians can find nothing wrong with her body. It's as if she died of fright from a terrible nightmare. There are dark rumors about the so-called demon child. My daughter, Jarmalaya, again. As always, when something terrible happens, she does seem inordinately happy. So my daughter is dead. That's uh, not great. So I need... Um, I think I saved this filter slot zero. What is this army of 4,000? Whoa. Bajanid Sultanate. Uh oh, okay. Time to hire some. Uh, hire some mercenaries. of nine. Come on, get in there. Help those guys before they're defeated. Oh no, they were defeated before I could get there. And now they're defeating us in piecemeal. Darn it. Invite the plot. Oh no. They defeated both my armies, which would have won had they been able to unite. 
they instead defeated them in piecemeal. Well, it looks like uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, I do have an army underway against a what I thought was an Icta uh, feudal territory, so I thought I was reading the uh, Sultanate right, but I realized some of these are actually tribal holdings. So with the tribal holdings, uh, the Sultan's the Sultan is Icta. So I thought his uh, army levies of a thousand was accurate. But there does seem to be this army of 4,000. I'm not sure exactly where it came from. Bajahanet, Sultanate. Yeah, it did come from the Sultanate of 4,000. But I wonder if that's because it has tribal holdings mixed in. Feudal holdings. Feudal, Icta, and tribal holdings all mixed together. So I wonder if that's why I misread it. And then I did not unify my armies of mercenaries in time. So they were defeated in detail. So that's something I'll have to figure out next episode. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications of my new videos and consider following me on Facebook. Uh, thanks a lot. Hope you had a good time.